So as you guys can see, my forearm is pretty fired up just from this movement. It's a great way to add in both the movements at the same time. If you're short of time, you need to get a quick bicep pump and forearm pump. Do this exercise. What is going on guys? So a common question we get from um, the Colossus Army as well as our Colossus clients is should I do reverse curls or should I do regular dumbbell bicep curls? So today we're gonna go over a unique exercise called the Zotman Curl and we'll talk about its purpose, how to do it, and we'll give you a few facts as well. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a set of five repetitions. So now I'm gonna focus a little more on the mechanics of the exercise where Kyle kind of just showed you guys. So the beauty of this is that you're gonna to to utilize your arm in a supinated as well as a pronated position. As you can see, when you're engaging your arm in different ways, when it's supinated, my bicep's getting a little more engaged. Whereas it's pronated, it's shifting the tension down in my forearm a little bit. So basically, you wanna keep that good normal bicep curl posture. Grip those dumbbells nice and tight, like you wanna make some gains. Lift it up nice and high. Go for that twist over, swift that tension. And with that negative, you're gonna be utilizing your grip strength. So now I'm just gonna show you really quickly a little short set. So I'm here, two arms, I'm up, big squeeze, get that little bit of twist if we're really gonna over supinate. So you're here with that over supination, twist back, nice and slow and control down, utilizing the forearms. You're up with that supination, down, boom. So it's all in that twist. So once again, I'm up with my palm upwards and I'm pronating with my palm downwards. So here is our Colossus 2.0 variation. So a lot of you guys are probably more used to doing this with your bicep. So I'm gonna show you more how to do it using your forearm. So in this case, we're gonna start doing it using our forearms. We're doing the reverse curl down into a regular dumbbell bicep curl. This is gonna be a lot harder. I'd recommend lowering the weight a bit, but you're gonna feel it a lot in both your biceps, but you're gonna feel it a crazy amount in your forearms. All right, so George Zaltman actually created this exercise back in the 19th century, and he used to use 50 pounds for this one. So we're gonna give it a try and see if we can do it. Tell us if our form is tight. We're just doing this for fun. <laughs> Let's see. for one more. Oh. So clearly, I'm not as strong as him, but let's see if Josh is. All right, I told Kyle I was gonna hit 700 reps to see if I can do it. I'm gonna try to beat my PR of 600. up my arms workout with Kyle. Thanks for checking in guys. I'm gonna try to get to 100 likes, so hit that like button. We really wanna hit that. Thanks so much guys. Please subscribe, share, tell your friends. Peace. Josh is gassed from that. I'm out of breath. <laughs>